Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Cody Bailey. What has been nearly a perfect stretch of weather over the course of not just the last week, really the last week and a half to two weeks, with highs in the 70s, lows in the 40s and 50s, and that stretch is going to continue not just tomorrow, but through most of next week. Of course, as we mentioned before the break, a perfect uh, stretch to get out and enjoy the weather, whether it's uh, taking a walk or enjoying some of those festivals. And of course, the big one next week, the Fall Festival kicking off in Evansville. No threat of precipitation in Austin County around this time of the year, nothing reaching the surface. We are dry across the entire tri-state. And again, that is going to be the case through next week. There were some forecast models that wanted to bring with that cold front Thursday night a few sprinkles. We'll keep an eye on those trends, but still looks like that is going to be a dry front and we're going to keep a close eye on that and touch more on that uh, temperature drop here in uh, in just a minute in your 70 forecast. But this is the live view towards the east side of Evansville from our Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union tower camera that was on top of uh, Deaconess Gateway Hospital on top of the Hampton Inn in downtown Owensboro. That's the view of the Blue Bridge on a quiet night from our roofclaim.com tower camera and this is how uh, the day played out in Owensboro with uh, again plenty of blue sky, clear sunshine, and uh, hardly a cloud to be found in the sky as high pressure continues to dominate the region. Again, a very pleasant day to be outside with high temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. That was the case in Owensboro and a beautiful night underway as well along the riverfront there. And again, temperatures in Owensboro, 63 degrees. It's 62 right now. Henderson across the river in Evansville, 64, but plenty of 50s already showing up here across the tri-state Santa Claus. Princeton both at 57. Jasper, you're at 58, 55 in Tell City. But check out Carmine, already 48 degrees. And we, I think, will see plenty of locations tonight dipping into the upper 40s and then some warmer locations in the upper, upper 40 to low 50 degree range as we wake up tomorrow. Not too far off from where we should be. The normal low for this time of the year, 53 degrees. And our running one week total of an inch or more of precipitation, we have not seen much at all in terms of organized chances of precipitation in the last couple weeks. And that's the case as we start another week and go through the first full week here of October. And the drought monitor just released earlier this week does have some of our far southern counties along the uh, Western Kentucky Parkway in the abnormally dry category. And again, we're not going to be seeing any organized chance of precipitation here over the next couple of days. But Storm Tracker keeps us clear across the tri-state right now. The closest area of cloud cover and precipitation, of course, is located with the remnants of what was Hurricane Ian, now just a remnant low, uh, with a lot of rainfall, though, across southwestern Pennsylvania, most of West Virginia as well, as that area of low pressure continues to spin, kind of stalling out right now, but it will eventually be carried back out to the east and to the northeast. Not a threat for us again, high pressure has been strong and in charge and keeping that cloud cover well off to the east. So another day of essentially wall-to-wall -wall sunshine for your Sunday. And once again, like today, high temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. Could be a bit breezy outside tomorrow like it was today with those highs, uh, again, running pretty close to normal for this time of the year. So we go into Sunday night and into Monday morning. Yet again, hardly a cloud to be found in the sky. Plenty of clear conditions and not quite as warm on Monday. We'll be in the mid-70s but still perfect weather to kick off Fall Fest and to kick off the first full week of uh, October as well. And that's, again, going to be a trend that carries into Tuesday. So a very repetitive forecast, but I don't think a lot of people are going to be complaining about the re repetition here uh, with uh, the start of next week as well. So tonight, again, mid to upper 40s to low 50s for the overnight lows tomorrow, mid 70s to the north, upper 70s to the south, and right around that 77, 78 degree range here over the portion of uh, the Evansville Metro. Here is your day forecast again a beautiful start to next week with high temperatures again mid to upper 70s lows back in the 50s but here comes that cold front Thursday evening into Thursday night right now again still looks like a dry cold front but a powerful one in terms of the temperatures going from the upper 70s Thursday to the mid 60s for highs on Friday and Saturday of next week